Bay's ICU, and we filled that unit with 16 patients over a single weekend. Uh, since that time, we've continued to open up ICU beds right. across yeah, the hospital. Nice we now have 150 COVID-specific ICU beds. Um, so whether it be the medical ICU that would typically take care of these patients, or the surgical ICU, or the cardiovascular ICU at Henry yeah, Ford, yeah. we have all come together and are all in this together to take care of these critically ill COVID patients. Uh, um, as we talk about personal great, protective great, equipment, yeah, I, I know that's support. a big talk across the country. We have been fortunate at Henry Ford Hospital specifically, okay. and that we've been able to have that PPE yeah, for yeah. our healthcare workers since this all started. Yeah. Um, we just yeah, continue to need the support. We need to continue to have people staying at home to get through this. Dr. Swiderek, I, I know that many hospitals have rehearsed the possibility of dealing with a mass casualty event, a mass shooting event. Uh, many hospitals around the country have, have had to anticipate that. Have you ever anticipated something like this and done any drills uh, in anticipation of something like this? So we haven't rehearsed a pandemic that comes from a virus in waves. Like you have mentioned, we rehearsed, especially uh, the emergency department has rehearsed mass casualties and um, those kind of things. But it's the same amount of patients that just keep coming in waves, at least at first, when we were having an exponential rise in patients in the Detroit area. And uh, Dr. Dubois-Blanc, uh, what is the situation for you in New Orleans tonight as you fight this?